it's been weird a weird four years since I what like started here I think just starting the season last year was probably my favorite memory I mean, what we got planned is the biggest season ever. It'll just be a culmination of just our hard work and the passion that we put in displayed over a three-month period. And at the end of it, it's going to result in us just blowing people's expectations away. Watch the breakdown. So am I, and my odds are much better. No, I shouldn't complain, but I can't help the feeling like everything is so great. So I'm in and out of the and out of the rain. Checking on the score while I war in my brain. It's all strange. Lucas, let's do fast breaks. With, into fast breaks. Just, so you, you need okay. We're gonna have a defender and an offense guy here. So you guys get into that. I really respect Chris a lot. Um, when I first met him, he was it was my freshman year and he was a sophomore. And he came out to like two or three practices and I never saw him again. One thing that I want to try to do is I want to get a drill where it's like a build up with. One long and now stepping into this coaching role and getting to know him even more, you can see the passion that he has for this team and how kids respect him now. No, it's like a, say it's like a three on three and we send in two guys. Chris is by far the greatest asset that I have and the greatest assets of this team. So Austin is my vice president. Um, he basically just helps me with whatever I need, whenever that is, and he's doing a fantastic job at it. Watch your X, watch your X. Good save. Justin, start, uh, start yours down there. Start, start your corner down there. He's just been a good help, and it's definitely, like, he's been a good friend, too. Just the hard work that he puts in and I put in, it just, like, for me, I, his hard work never goes unseen for me. Patty, you trying to switch? Oh. I want, I want him. That, that one, that one hurt. Bad. <laughs> no, see, actually, I have a theory on that. There, this is the first time it's ever been recorded, but the earth spins like a coin. Have you ever spun a coin on a table? Yeah, it creates the illusion of a, of a 3D sphere, right? And so the Earth is just rotating so fast around its y-axis that it's creating this illusion of reality. You know, recently there was a Nobel Prize winner who, um, in quantum physics, said that our universe isn't locally real. And so I only I think that just backs up my point entirely. I'm not fucking. Yeah, I'd agree. Why not? Ain't that right, Ned? 
So Reed was, he's a sophomore. He was a year older than me. Or he is still, obviously. Just got transferred. The passion that him and Chris have for this team is now everyone sees it. He's kind of like a vibes coach is the best way to describe him. Like talk to him when you're frustrated. Talk to him when there's like just a terrible call. There's some bullshit. Like he's your guy. He was a very good person to have on the sideline. It's the best way to describe him. But when he played, he went all out. He went super hard. Yes, sir, 3-0. Big third, dirty, dirty. That's what being fancy will get you, Scout. Yeah, can't even complete the throw, can you, Scout? Not good at the fancy stuff and not good at the fundies, huh? Thank God you're pretty. I, I just I love him. He's such a good guy. <laughs> oh, you got to get that pass up, Scout. I know it seems like I'm singling you out, but it's just because I'm closest to you. And Graham, goalies, it doesn't, I mean, one of you two, it's cool. See, now you two have to decide, not me. Who are deciding? <laughs> man up, man down, it's just going to be a cage. Why don't we just play a double goal or a five man or what? Yeah, you should play a double goal. Rotation. Ooh. Still I'm so lost, I thought he was talking about who likes. We got a back for one. Uh, I'd personally like man. to do a flying man, five man. Flying man. Um, flying. Well, we can, we can but, run I believe I'm What? Sure. We can run both. You want no, that should be really easy. That, should, that makes it even easier if, yeah. the, if the string rotates or if the middle guy rotates because it makes it less of a slide for everyone else. I always go visualize it. That's why I want to get the offense in like a little. I'm saying. If there was somebody on the crease, we would do box and one because then the string the has someone to come down to. That's a string, but yeah. It, yeah, but if we're if there's nobody, there's no attackman on the crease, they're running all outside, then we run the five man. Rotation. Oh yeah, we did do that. Let's yeah, do that. And now unit from last. If there's game, someone on the crease, fast, strong, if there's someone on the crease, you should focus straight. Hey Sean, that's how you use your head. Yeah. That's how you use your head. Watch these guys. To Zach. Zach has become one of my best friends, honestly, since the beginning of this year. He's really become a selfless player, and he's gotten a lot better at mentoring. And his presence on the field is so well known. He is such a vocal offensive leader. No, I want to have fun, but like, they're sitting over here shit talking us. We have a man up. Like, we should be outscoring them double. Like, we got to move the ball. Look, look, look. It's just like, when you're in that position, we don't need to shoot it from 20 yards out. Like, move the ball once or twice, and there's going to be wide open guys. Don't, don't dodge on a man up play. Like, just think about it, okay? And also, listen to the guys that are open. Like, just listen to your teammates, all right? Because they're going to keep shit talking. Us. And I know it's just practice, but that shit pisses me off because we're bad. Man. So let's get fucking going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. For real, bro. Let's go. Dude, if you guys yeah. score, For real. He connects with the kids well. He does so much that's not put in the stat sheet that should be. But he, just the amount of work that he puts in for the team is insane. He's one of my go-to guys now, for sure. When it comes to even outside the cross, just as a friend. He's just such a good, solid person. And he's so appreciated by this team. It's really been a hard past couple of years here, like for the club, um, with just unstable numbers, money, and it just finally felt like final. It 
is for the group. It's for us. And no one can take that away from us. People are going to see that we're not, we're not just who we were last year. We're different. We're faster. We're stronger. We're smarter. Looking forward, I mean, we don't plan to stop. We're going to keep our heads down, and we're just going to keep going. Once January comes, we are we are back and we are ready to take over this whole conference. <laughs>